Leagues 3 is just around the corner, and in today's video, we're going to be going over my top tips. And first up, I do want to apologize if my voice sounds a little different. I'm currently a little stuffed up, but hopefully that doesn't become much of a problem. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight in. And for our first tip, we have used the Trailblazer task list to help you plan. I believe it was Mod Oasis that confirmed, but it could have been somebody else in the League's Discord. But they confirmed that all of the tasks from Trailblazer are going to be in Leagues 3, while there might be a few minor changes, especially in terms of the points they reward in general, and especially with all of the earlier on super simple tasks, they will be included. So make sure you take advantage of this. Go ahead and just scroll through all of the tasks on the Trailblazer wiki page. And when you're making your plan, or if you already have your plan, see what other additional tasks you can kind of throw in for free that you can basically just complete along the way. And before we hop into the next tip, I do want to mention one thing is that none of these tips are in a specific order, meaning that the first or last tip are not the most important. In reality, depending on your play style and your strategy, one of these tips might be more beneficial than any of the others. But for our next tip, this one's kind of also a double tip in one. And the first part of it is complete quest early, but the second part of it is take advantage of the XP multiplier increase when you complete bigger quests. But let's go ahead and dissect the first part of this tip first, which is complete quest early. What this part is referring to is super simple quests that don't give a ton of experience, but with a time 5 multiplier is still going to give you a decent chunk and a solid chance of getting a unique fragment. Some of these quests are things like Tribal's Totem, Client of Corinne, Queen of Thieves, Hazel Cult, Fishing Contest, even quests that might give a slightly bigger chunk of XP like Sea Slug. But in general, these are quests that don't give an outrageous amount of XP, that it is much more worth completing them early in order to unlock some of the benefits they could give you. But now for the second part of this tip, and that is take advantage of the XP multiplier. We don't know the exact specifics of how the XP multiplier is going to work in this league, but we can kind of assume it's going to work pretty similar to how it did in Trailblazer. And the way that was is whenever you increased a relic spot, there was an additional passive upgrade. And we can kind of expect it's going to be very similar to how it is in this league, except rather than a relic unlock spot, it'll be a fragment unlock spot. Regardless, the whole point of this aspect of the tip is to take advantage of the potential extra XP when it comes to some of the bigger XP reward quests. And these are quests you aren't generally going to complete super early on in your account that aren't going to hold you back by not completing them. At the end of the day, if there's a quest that's going to make you push something off, just go ahead and complete it with the 5x. Because even if our next increment is 8x, it isn't that big of a difference, but if you're completing something like Holy Grail, which isn't a quest you're going to do in the first few hours of your playtime, you could really take advantage of an 8x or even maybe a higher multiplier to get yourself a massive jump on some defense and prayer XP. But moving on for our next tip, we have use your Sage's Renown wisely. I say this because don't buy into the hype immediately when you start. There are going to be loads of super simple, super quick tasks that are probably giving you a good chunk of Sage's Renown immediately off the rip. The whole point of this tip is don't get too overhyped and just go willy-nilly with what you unlock and don't really put any thought into it whatsoever. Because a few days or even about one week into the league, it's going to be much more difficult to pack up a ton of Sage's Renown to unlock some of the content you want to do. There are three things you can use these Sage's Renown to unlock, and this is autocomplete quest, skills, and bosses. And in all honesty, I would even keep some of your Sage's Renown in your back pocket just stored up in case your plans change. Just try not to put yourself in a spot where you have to drop everything you're doing to go get some Sage's Renown because you didn't have enough to unlock the content you want to do right now, or maybe even unlock all of the skills you need in order to complete the quest you had next. And now for our next tip, we have be reactive. This one kind of goes hand in hand if you watched my previous video, what I called the dynamic strategy. But the basis of this tip is just be ready to change your plans. The fragments in this league are all RNG based, meaning at any given moment, you could pick up something that could massively increase your efficiency doing some specific piece of content. So in general, just be ready to drop your plans if you do happen to pick up any super good fragments early on, because doing some content with a really good fragment is ultimately a great way to pick up even more fragments for content you plan on doing in the future. 
Ultimately, your RNG in relation to fragments isn't going to have that big of an impact that it's going to entirely change where you fall in the high scores at the end of the league, but it definitely has the power to change what kind of content you're going to be doing super early on in the first few days. And with that in mind, this kind of brings me to our next tip, and this one's more of a small little bonus tip, and that is don't overthink the start. Because as I just said, your plans could literally change at any given moment with any XP drop. Overall, basically anything you're going to be doing on day one in general is super easy to complete. So don't hyper focus on your efficiency if you do happen to make a mistake. But with that said, our next tip is kind of a bonus tip as well. And this one's super small, but also super helpful. And that is unlock your waystones every time you go through a new area. Waystone teleportation is probably going to be a super important aspect in the early game because even if you do have the magic level to teleport, you're not going to have a ton of law runes because they are pretty expensive. So if you happen to go through a new area to complete a quest or even pick up some quest items, make sure along your way you unlock that area's waystone. But with that, that brings us to our final tip, and this tip is do your own plan and have fun. If you're not a huge efficiency player in general, don't focus too much on what you're doing every single minute, and don't focus on what another creator or a streamer is going to do with their plan. Do whatever you enjoy. This league has been shortened and it's only six weeks long, so at the end of the day, to get the most points, it's going to come down to how much you play and are having fun, not necessarily how efficient you are in the first few hours. But with that, that's everything I wanted to include in this video. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button down below. It massively helps me out in these videos. Thank you guys so much for all of the support on the League's three videos this far. And if you're not already and you are enjoying the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of these uploads. But thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.